Hi, I'm Rima, and um, this is my Volvo. It's a 2007 station wagon. I've had it for many, many years. I've got it. Yeah, when my kids were young, and now I have use for this space here. Um, so it is a station wagon, not a van, so I don't have quite the same headroom and space people have. So when I set up camp, I do utilize both sides. So here, <clears throat> the driver's side, I will take my food and I set all my food here. And then I have my water. It's a three gallon and it's with a USB charged. I can show how that works. And then just the, the little sink I pull in and out as I need it. It's a collapsible? It is collapsible, yeah. <laughs> Those are nice. And that charge, it lasts forever. It's so nice. So on this side, I put my my clothes, I put my hats, my towels, and my clothes. I have everything folded so it doesn't take up too much room. And I put this here once I set camp. Otherwise, I do take this heavy thing and it's usually just sitting in the back. But once I set up camp, I like to keep my clothes here. And here I have rain jacket, jackets, a little extra blanket in the basket here. And also a... Um, I love this here. It's for putting dirty laundry in. So that's pretty cool. And that all fits here nicely. And uh, this is just a bag and it doesn't trip off my uh, airbag because I hang it and I just put all in tissue and paper towel and just different things I need. <clears throat> when I'm traveling, I always like to have this basket here because I always like to have some place where I set my iPad. This is to clean my glasses. Um, just it's a little water filter thing. Just little odds and ends. <clears throat> um, so it's just kind of a, a nice place to just set some things, things down. Things you use often, probably. Yeah, well, while I'm driving, mm -hmm. I like to have that's my catch-all for when I'm driving. This is a 75-inch long. So it's really ample for me because I'm only 62 inches and, um, and it's 25 inches wide. And what it is, is a trifold. And then I have a memory foam, uh, a topper mm -hmm. that's on top of it. And the two together are more amazing than just when I sleep in my bed at home. Mm -hmm. These are my, um, uh, block out for those two windows. I have the one here. Did you make those yourself? I did. Oh, yeah, I you took did reflex good. and I um, I put material on both uh, sides, the black, you know, so the outside is black. And then I kind of wanted to have a little bit of a color scheme because mm -hmm. I watch other videos and um, people stress that you got to keep it like very simple, like colors and designs, because it's such a small space. It really makes a difference to just have it just very simple colors and not have too much uh, coloring going on. Yeah, so I usually keep my, um, this is like my toiletry bag when I go in the morning. I keep my pajamas and stuff down here because I always want to be able to grab it quick and easy and in the night when I first go in. And these are just a few pillows. At night, um, I'm able to prop these pillows and I can just lean back and I put my iPad here. This is a cool tub because I can use it like a table. Um, so in the evening, I have my iPad, I put a little lamp, I put all my little stuff, and it's very, very convenient. It's a pretty but good size. It's, it's very huge. And this is actually <clears throat> all my kitchen stuff. So I have, I have silverware, I have dishes here, I have cloths and napkins here tablecloth and then for my electricity i have three things a hot logic and this is one of my coolest things that i use all the time um, and then i've got some food dried food stored under there in that corner but this is um yeah it's one of these collapsible it's really cool and i make my oh tea. that's your teapot like yeah USB. So I let me see it's, what it's, brand that is on the top mm -hmm. there. Is that the Does brand it, is yes. collapsible? That's what it says, huh? 
I got it from Amazon. And I can make my tea, my coffee, and I can do all that right in my house. Right in my house. <laughs> well, it is like my house. I can do it, you know, right from here. And here I have um, the Hot Logic, which it's a 9 volt, and I can put a little casserole dish, and just it takes a long time, but I can just put it in there and it just warms it up. While you're driving, and probably. You have, while I'm driving, I also I'll show you I have electricity, and <clears throat> it's, it's so cool. It makes it really, really nice. You know, when you arrive, or if you just do it in the morning, you've got it in the evening for sure. It doesn't burn. And then I also have a pot here. I don't know if it's what's going up, but here we go. I find um, sometimes I like this. I wanted to cook some rice, a little eggs, and I wanted to use the electricity. I do have this. So Okay, is that a 12 volt or a 110? This is actually a 110. Okay. Yeah. Do you have butane cookers also, or like I, a one burner or anything? I, I do. So, um, aside of these, I usually have a big tub that's all my outdoor type stuff. This time, I'm not doing the big one. I just have a small one. But yeah, I have oh, yeah. my uh, butane here. This is actually a cool one because it works on propane or butane. It has a cord uh, and uh, stores under here. And I can do it with either kind of fuel. That's so nice. That's nice if you know if I'm limited. And that's a nice little picnic table. This it's not too low, but and, and um, good size for especially is, with this uh, REI. Yes, now chair. Talk about these two, this REI chair. I mean, it it weighs nothing. It weighs absolutely yeah, nothing. Yeah, it really does. And it collapses to something this small. Oh my! It is so amazing, super expensive, but you know it's worth every penny because I don't have a lot of space. Right. And then this table, I'll show you where I store it here. And this um, butane is that's the case for it. And I usually do store it. I can store it up there. Right. And then that's just my outdoor type of stuff. Now this is what I do here. Um, but I have a carbon monoxide detector. Mm -hmm, nice little that, one. Uh huh. Yeah, I like it small and it fits right here. And I'll turn it off after I get home. But it is on. Thank God, zero. So <clears throat> here I have my um, uh, solar panel, and this is the bag for that little collapsible table. Mm -hmm. And they both fit perfectly right here. And then my chair and some levelers, I keep stored under here. So this is not an even surface. I see. The reason I made it that way, it looks like it is, is because I get this huge tub. And I mean, this huge tub holds so much. I have screens, I have a radio, I have a um, cleaning stuff, I have bungee cords, and see, I have an air pump because I use that in the summer for my floats. Um, I just have, you know, binoculars. It just goes on and on. It's so much space, and, and that's what room? helps level it. Now, I did have my chairs permanently removed. They're gone. Okay. <laughs> so that's... that. If and I that did, was your little potty there. Yeah, exactly. And I, I have that, but then I also have some that are just, um, <clears throat> and I, I, sometimes I'll use that, and then I'll have another system too over there. Okay. And then here I either keep a tent or a um, something that goes on the back of my hitch, my um, the gate, but tailgate. But it's uh, this is the Napier, but. Sometimes I use it, sometimes I don't. And when the weather being so nice, like I used it the first couple of days here, it wasn't really necessary. It's more when it's very hot and I really need a lot of air. And I do have these curtains. I can show you on the other side how I put them on. Basically, it's a shower curtain. I'll show you on the other side. Okay. You'll see it better. The rain guards, I put them myself. It's not perfect job, but it works. It does the trick. I can keep the windows cracked. Mm -hmm. get plenty of airflow all right so yeah so here I do have the curtains and I have a little clips here I keep in this little spot where I can put them together when I drive 
I take my curtains together, I shove them in here, and then I tape them so they don't like slide and mess me up while I'm driving. Right. So here I have uh, Jackery. And what size? It's a, it's a, a 1000, Jackery 1000. Okay, and how big are those panels that we had on the other side? Uh, the uh, the solar that's a hundred. I have two of them, but I usually just bring one. Okay. The thousand, to be honest, with what I do, I don't. And I use I have so many ways of cooking. So to me, if it finishes, it just finishes. I have so many options. I just usually keep the one because I only go out, you know, for like a week or so at a time. Mm -hmm. And uh, so this is my catch-all for here. <laughs> it's really great just having a place to put things um right now I'm um, these are actually char I'm charging some of the my neighbors <laughs> things but yeah and that's an extension cord so if I wanted to take the extension over there and use my electricity behind um <clears throat> these are actually vinyl plaques which gives me a nice clear surface here I stuff my shoes in there and here I have my cooler I'll let you see um, my cooler and then this is like a little trash <laughs> it's kind of cool and, um, yeah. Let's see if I'm even getting it the sun is so bright right there oh. okay that's the trash right there yeah. yeah and there's your cooler and just some simple stuff has very well used space yeah and you know um this little dip here is what's super important for me to be able to put clothes on to put my shoes on comfortably mm -hmm. And to be able to, when I want to use my potty, I, you know, I had to have this like flat spot right there is what makes it work. If I didn't have that, I wouldn't be able to function in there. Right. You have, you have to have a little bit of room to get dressed, no doubt. And yeah, I can just climb right in here. Simplicity. It's very simple. I think that's I try to do a lot of like minimalist type of thinking mm -hmm. and I'm a bit of a minimalist at home. And I always rethink, like, what do I have? What do I need? What, you know, and really try to keep it very, very simple because it's a small space, but, you know, it does work. And usually when I'm camping, I'm outside most of the time. Mm -hmm. Mostly I sleep here. But what's really cool is in the morning, if I wake up really early, I can actually fix my cup of coffee in the morning and that means a lot, lot to me because I got to have my coffee in the morning and I can do that completely in my car and not mm -hmm. distract anybody. And um, yeah, I sit, I can watch movies at night, movies in the morning until everybody else wakes up. And I was going to show you one last thing that I do that is really key for me is I have this tray and at night I actually will go ahead and I'll pull out all the stuff. I use instant coffee. I got cream, sugar, coffee, and my spoon, which I'll get that out later. But I basically will put everything I need. I'll go ahead and get my little kettle oh, out. I get my kettle out. I put everything here at night so that in the morning, Super easy, just plug it in. Oh, I got my coffee because that's my moment there. So that's smart. Yeah. So and then yeah. I think it's very encouraging for people to know that you can start simply. You don't have to have no. some fancy build. But for some people they've got the time and the money and the you know, they're yeah. gonna be out long enough that they can do a build, that's wonderful too. It's just nice to know that you can do it quickly and simply and still have it that functional that's exactly. nice exactly yeah. and very comfortable and yeah i've learned so much from the youtubes getting ideas because yeah the idea of being um keeping things really simple super organized everything's got uh, everything's got its place and that's what makes it work yes yeah so have you been to meetups before um, you know, this is my first one with you, of course. Mm -hmm. It's very nice to meet you and meet everybody here. Everybody yeah. is so wonderful. I, I know. mean, I, I really have had. You a have a bunch of new sisters. <laughs> yes, I feel like they're all family, and some of them I had seen their YouTube, so I felt like I already knew them, and I've been inspired by a lot of them. So, very, very nice. Um, the camping I've mostly done has been um, with family and friends, and so I haven't really gotten to. Uh, 
yeah, I'm, I'm just starting. Like, this is my first one doing an actual meetup, coming to a meetup. So. I am actually uh, retired with the airlines, and I can actually fly for free, but I just haven't thought about it too much. Since the, um, since the pandemic, I just haven't given traveling in a plane too much thought. I've been so loving camping, mm -hmm. and, and I've done a lot in North Carolina. North Carolina is so amazing. The beaches and the mountains, and that's mostly all what I've done. Um, I just, this is really the first time I've come like out of the state. Oh, I did go to Maryland um, in December, but kind of more, I'm just touching on camping out of state. Uh huh. <laughs> My kids have been super excited for me. They think it's just really awesome. They're both campers, and mm -hmm. you know, I, I raised them on camping. We were camping ever since they were little kids with groups and uh, doing a lot of fun camping. And they they think it's really great. That's yeah. nice. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for showing me around. You've got this so efficient and cute and cozy looking, and it's, it's really, just right for you. It <laughs> I like really that. is. Thank you so much, and thanks so much for you doing this and, you know, giving us an opportunity to all, like, meet and gather and be influenced. And I tell you, the, I've been so inspired by some of the people that I've seen the videos of prior mm -hmm. on your channel. And, yeah. All exchange ideas is just beautiful. It is really nice. All right. Well, thank you so much. Thank you.